first up this week, someone has something to tell us. It's not Rachel Yankee. It is Izzy Christensen. <laughs> Are we all ready? Izzy, break it to us. Yes, guys. It is with a great pleasure that I announce on this podcast that I am retiring from football after the end of this season, which is on Saturday. I feel like it's appropriate to go, woo, but then not. <laughs> <laughs> I know. How do we react? I don't know how to react, to be honest. How did you feel seeing it just there? Well, Caroline really teed me up, so I kind of felt like, I don't know, it kind of felt nervy, but pre-getting on record, I was absolutely buzzing. Well, and I still am, to be fair. Yeah. yeah. It's mad when, like, Yanks, you've gone through it already, but I always, I always wonder how long it's on, like, a player's mind before they come to that decision. Like, do you think it's been a long one? Yeah, um, it's probably been brewing about, to be fair, it's been on my mind s- since the start of this season um, yeah. because I knew that I was out of contract or the con- yeah, the contract was finishing at the end of the season with Everton. So I kind of like thought it might be on the horizon and I just wanted to like, I don't know, just enjoy the year and give myself a position where I'm ready to make the right decision come now. Um yeah, and I feel like over the past, well, since 2019, I've been working really, really hard on, um, obviously, the media side of things, you know, analysing football data and, you know, all of that stuff to to be able to try and deliver decent punditry or radio comms and stuff like that. And I feel like I've really grown in that. So it's kind of been like handling two jobs at times, yeah. which hasn't been easy. And I think that the, the place where I've got myself to now, I just feel like, it's 150% the right decision to, um, I guess the way I look at it is sort of at a crossroads and I want to go forwards, not sideways. Um, and the best advice I was ever given that always stuck with me, and I've said this to a couple of younger players on my team, is that the never lived the same year twice. Um, and I felt like staying in the game, playing, I would be just repeating another year like I have. Mm. And I felt like there were so many opportunities ahead. Um or try and make some opportunities ahead with my full commitment. So um, I'm just, yeah, I guess I'm just super excited and super thankful for all the opportunities I've been given during my playing career by teams, coaches, um, you know, the international setup as well. I um, feel like I've done everything and loved it. And yeah, now's the time for me to move on. Quality. Yeah, no, mic- oh. that was a mic drop moment. <laughs> What's been the highlight, Izzy? You know what, do you know this sounds a little bit cringe, but I guess that when any athlete, not not just football, finishes their career, like you don't often have the choice to do it like in your own, within your own control. And I feel very fortunate to be in that situation where I can make this decision um, to step away from it. Um, But I think that honestly, my time at Man City was definitely the best of my career where I got myself from here to here in terms of performance levels um and then we play Man City away on Saturday which kind of feels like a really fitting ending that I'm going to be finishing my career on some grass that we had so many fun memories on so that that's probably the most special thing in the current this current week but I think looking back there'll be plenty of highs that I mean looking back at old pictures over the last few weeks coming to this decision you know I've had such a ball playing excuse the pun um (laughs) I didn't even mean that um but yeah just generally just you know um so many highs and obviously so many lows as well but um they all make you stronger so yeah excited too right uh Jen memories of Izzy (laughs) (laughs) memories of Izzy um I think just being like ultimate pro to be honest like you've always always looked after yourself in terms of like training and gone above and beyond to be the professional and the player that you are now and my early memories of like you on PFA I think my first season player of the season right yeah that was my first season at City and yeah you kind of set the example really for what being a Man City player was and that was kind of my main merit like you took your nutrition so seriously you were studying off the pitch um you went above and beyond to be the player you are and I think Man City kind of was a a big influence on that but it's yeah. yeah it's a credit to you as a person and as a player um getting the move to Leon and being part of being part of a Lioness squad and 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 winning that is is a, is a big moment and that's you know it's a credit to you and it's yeah <laughs> but yeah I would say the ultimate pro um and went above and beyond to be a professional footballer so yeah wow 
Thanks, Jim. You haven't officially retired from England, have you? No, but that will be the the first line of my announcement, um, retiring from international and club football. Doing it both. Just for clarity. Just before Serena announces her squad on the 31st. Oh, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Well, maybe you want to hold back. Maybe you want to hold back. (laughs) Do you want a guard of honour? And uh, if your team wins a penalty against Manchester City, if you're not on the pitch, do you expect to be brought on (laughs) so that you can score it? And if you are on the pitch, do you expect to take it? Wow, there's a lot of permutations there. Um, do I want a guard of honour? No. Um, do I have control of that? No. Um, just don't like the attention. Um, and penalties, um, I don't know. I don't want anything to change. I honestly don't want anything to change the normal preparation for a game. And um, if our striker's on the pitch, Katia Snoyce, she would probably take it. Um, unless she hands me the ball and insists, then in which case, yeah, of course I would. But um, no, I don't want anything to change. I just want it to be a normal match day and finishing the season on a high if we can. She doesn't want any attention, Rachel. Uh, do you want to say anything just to make her embarrassed? <laughs> I think you're a hundred percent right that you know probably the best way is to to choose yourself, and it seems like you're you've come to the right decision and the. the you know, I've gone through the whole of my career with no regrets thinking that way. And, and that seems where you're at. And that's, you know, it's fantastic for you to to go on a new journey. I remember you coming through at Birmingham and uh, playing against you at, at Birmingham. It's just some young kid that was just so enthusiastic. Um, <laughs> you know, you were just like everywhere. It was like, oh man, can she just go away? But uh, no, fantastic career. I agree, like Man City, you were just, you know, you just had some fine, fine moments there. And then to be to go on and play for Leon. Not many people at that time where Leon were just amazing. Not many people can say that they've they've actually, you know, brought into that squad, played in that team. Obviously I know you, you got injured there, but do you know what I mean? Just fantastic memories of football and something you should be really proud of and I'm I'm sure you are and I'm sure you will be as time goes on, you're even more proud of what you've achieved and the people you've been able to impact. So fantastic career. Well done, you. Oh. But, um, I, I think there's still more to come. Thanks, Yanks. No worries, pal. I was going to ask you what next. What's what's the plan? Well... Let's keep sporting stuff. Yeah, yeah. I obviously want to stay in sport. want to, you know, help help grow the game in, in, in whatever capacity that looks like. Um, I have a real, you know, what's the word? I'm, I'm hooked on coaching at the moment. Um... So I'm completing my UA for B and I've found that like fantastic. I've loved every minute of it so far. So I think that that is something which I do want to to move into in the future. Um because I think my like Yank said, enthusiastic, I think my enthusiasm for the game and then to 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 coach or teach the game to to players in it whatever age I think is something which really drives me on. The detail in football that that I like to see and like to coach. I think that coaching will definitely be be something in the future, I hope. Um, and then obviously I've been doing a lot of work in the media. Um, we'll see what what that brings in the future. Um, but like Jen alluded to then, I think she had me down as doing some sort of ultra endurance event and she's not wrong. Um, I, I'm beginning with, at the end of June, I'm actually running a section from Leeds to Manchester with she's already um, booked it in do you know what I mean she's not even training she's booked it in already <laughs> honestly yeah to 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 help raise uh money for motor neuron disease um so I'm joining part of a run with with um a guy who's who's doing a crazy triathlon across Europe and finishing the run leads to Manchester um so I'm joining him on part of that run which will be my first sort of unofficial endurance event um but yeah my agents told me you know just just don't go too hard too soon on it I think she's got me down as like running up I don't know some crazy mountain somewhere um so I won't go too hard too soon but yeah I'm just really excited for the opportunities ahead um and living life without being told when the next meeting and breakfast is and the fact you can now go skiing and do all those dangerous sports that you couldn't do before yeah yeah, my friends have already I've told my friends and they're already like, great, like we're going skiing at Christmas and all of this. So, yeah, there's a lot to look forward to. Good. Well, 300 appearances for club and country, over 60 goals. Izzy Christensen, well done you. 